Hey everyone, we're here back live in Austin at the uh, Linux Foundation Open Source Summit. We've had, well, this is day three of our coverage. Um, we've had some really, really great discussions these last couple days, and especially today, I feel like we're really digging into stuff. Um, our next guest is Naveen Sh Srinivasan. Yes, you're right. Uh, Naveen is with Endor Labs, but he's really here to talk to us today about being a contributor to open source and open SSF projects. And, you know, for those of us, for those of you out there, sometimes we tend to say, oh, open source is great. You've got this army of contributors, right? There's the countless untold, you know, horde of people yes. who contribute. It's not really the fact, <laughs> right? The fact is most open source uh, projects, and there's, you know, the, the top ones get a lot of Absolutely. publicity, but there's millions and millions of open source projects. Most open source projects really only have a handful of contributors who are, let's, let's call them core yep. contributors. And, and unfortunately, many, many open source projects have one or two maintainers mm -hmm. that if something happened to them or they get a job or whatever, the, the future of the project is in it's jeopardy. In jeopardy. And uh, one of the nice things about what the Linux Foundation does is when they take these open source projects in as part of their foundations, whether it's open SSF or cloud native or CDF or what have you, is that they, their mission is to ensure that there's a wider base of maintainers, there's a wider base of contributors, and it's sort of a pyramid, and an even wider base of users so that it's a stable community it doesn't depend on any one person. Anyway, I got that all out. But Naveen here it informs us that he's probably one of the leading contributors across all the open SSF yes. projects. Um, <laughs> I know. Um, I was just mentioning this. Um, I started contributing to open SSF in 2019, early December, um, especially on open SSF. Um, I've been w from then up until now contributing to many projects across OpenSSF. Uh, some of the critical projects that I contribute, and I'm also a maintainer, is a project called Scorecard. So you were mentioning something right now. There are some projects that, are, that have only few maintainers, and if those maintainers go away, then it becomes a problem. To answer those questions is where Scorecard does. Like, I want to talk about Scorecard a little bit. Um, Scorecard essentially scans a million open source repositories and tells how is the health of the project? Are they maintainers? Are they, they, they call it bus factor. So mm -hmm. there's only one person bus factor. If somebody hits by a bus, not that right. they have to. Right. They can get another job or any of that. Um, are there updates happening right now in these last six months? Are there updates? Um, if it's not, then it could be a red flag. So everybody depends on open source. I don't know if you happen to see, there's an XKCD comic with, um, with, a, with all, with large, uh, with large infrastructure with one stick at the bottom. I'm sure yeah. people have seen that. Uh, but somebody from Nebraska maintaining that. Right, the Nebraska bus <laughs> yeah, factor. Right. We, yeah, yeah, right. We've actually discussed this here in the last so, couple of days. So, but it's not, it's not just a comic. It, unfortunately, it's all too true. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, um, so that's where I am. I've been doing, and it's been a fun journey. There have been ups and downs with everything, but we in OpenSF have been able to give this data out to everyone. That's great. So, so essentially, OpenSF this, open is helping answer those questions that people don't know, should I trust this? Right. So if I could put it in my own words, scorecard is sort of a, a health check for the vitality of an open source project. Absolutely. Not talking about the code, whether the code is secure, the code is good or not. We're talking more about the, the, the community around this project. Is it uh, viable? It, it, it's both. Oh, it's both. It's both. It, does, it has 18 checks right now from do they follow good practices? Do they not follow bad practices? And well, what kind of good and bad practices? Okay. So let's take example. Do they have code reviews? If it's a YOLO commits, 
then probably then then what Linus Torvalds says is many eyes looked at a code, you're likely to reduce the number of bugs. So same way, if I have commit, I'm the one who opens the commit and I'm the one who pushes the commit, then it becomes kind of a red flag. Do people are looking at it? That's 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 to make sure that and bad practices. Um, essentially, I am not securing. I'm not updating my dependencies. I depend on everything else, but I'm not updating my dependencies. So, so those are something like, is it fuzzing? The large critical projects have to be fuzzing. So those are different things that Scorecard does just to give you a general overview of what it does. Yeah, no, I love it. So I, I don't want to embarrass you, but how many maintainers are there for Scorecard? Right now, there are four. Four? Yeah. Okay. So Scorecard is sort of eating its own dog food in Absolutely. terms of Absolutely. How Absolutely. to be a successful, viable yes. um, project. That's excellent. Did you come up with the idea for Scorecard? Or no, no I didn't come up with the idea. That's a, that's a good thought. Um, uh, Scorecard was initially a weekend project like anything else by one of the Googlers. Um, he started the project, um, contributed to OpenSSF, and there was a blog post. I've, I've always had this itch of how do I solve this problem? There was a blog post about Envoy Proxy in 2019, late November. I saw that and I'm like, that's what I want. I've been looking for this. And initially, there was one other contributor and a committer and I paired along with them, went through the journey and after the people joined and started, started becoming one of the most um, critical projects within OpenSSF. Excellent. We're going to jump into some of the other projects in OpenSSF, but I want to just tie the bow on Scorecard. Yeah, yeah. For people who want to maybe take a look at it, use it, find out more, where can they go? They can go to OpenSSF GitHub Org and look for Scorecard. It's OpenSSF uh, GitHub Org Scorecard. That's what it is. So it's OpenSSF.GitHub. It's Oh, it's github.com slash yes, OpenSSF slash scorecard. scorecard. Yes. Right. There you have it. All right. But that's not the only project you contribute to. What else are you involved in? Um, I am involved in another project called Salsa. Salsa is I about well. yeah. how to have your supply chain from provenance. How do you do that? And I also contribute to other sister projects of OpenSSF called Sextor. Six store is essentially making the ensuring you are signing your stuff. It's like it's like having TLS certificates on your HTTPS, mm -hmm. but you're signing your artifacts and have it with without keeping the private keys for yourself and have an open way to know what is happening on that. So it's proper authentication verification for for, artifacts. for your artifacts. Yes. Got it, that you keep in Artifactory or some repository. Uh, no, you can keep it anywhere, but how do I, like take example, you got an artifact, let's assume your glass. It was built like this. How do I ensure that's the artifact that I am looking for? Some way to sign that and put it in, a, in an open registry so that people can be like, is that the artifact? Is that the SHA that I can trust? was it built like that. So that way it helps everybody trust the artifact, what I'm getting is what the, it was intended, nobody did a man in the middle, changed things and uploaded something. There have been multiple of those like code curve and all those things. That's what it is trying to avoid. I got it, excellent. So here's another good question that I'm sure our audience is gonna be interested in. We have a lot of people out here who love open source that would love to be more involved in open source. Unfortunately, they have day jobs. Sure, I right? understand. So how do you balance your day job with Endor with all of this open source activity? Okay, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I want to talk a little bit. My wife is not ha pretty happy about no, me doing this. Someone, <laughs> some, someone's paying the piper yeah, here. Yeah. So um, I've got two kids, so, so anytime I drive them around, I'm in a gas station with my, <laughs> with, my, with my iPhone hooked up and have my MacBook opening and trying to do that. So trying to balance, this has been, it's like, it's like 
people love building cars. People love. It's a hobby. Uh, it's of, a hobby. Of, of and love. So, of a love, what you do. So, um, I met. So I said last year, can I have a day? Can I have in GitHub? You get a green bar for every day you right. you commit. I said I wanted yesterday last year not to have a single day without committing. So from 2020 Jan one onwards up until now. I've managed to keep that streak That's up. Amazing. That's <laughs> it's, amazing. it's just a hobby. When you and it's like any other habit in your life, you just right. pick up a habit and you want to keep doing that. And it's That's great. And, and then what happens? Then you start having fun. Then you get to come to these conferences and meet human beings with that. And then you're like, oh, I can put the face over that to online the name. name. Yep. And I thought they are different, but when they when I met them in person. I get well, a wide surprise. Yeah, surprise. No, how much more? Well, not it. always. Some people are exactly what you thought they are. I, I've been doing this a long time. Too. Sure. You, know, you meet people online, and then you get a chance to meet them in person. And sometimes you're surprised, and sometimes you're not. Oh, yes, yes. But but it's nice because I don't get to talk to them. But right. writing, talking to them, going and getting getting a coffee, um, I'm sure I'm gonna enjoy this even better as I go about going back. Absolutely. To doing it. Well. You know, first of all, I want to thank you for what you've been doing because it really is, it's on your people like you and your shoulders that this whole open source movement is what it is, yeah. right? Thank if they you. didn't have people, so congratulations and thank you. thank you. Thank you. And secondly, man, keep up the great work, but you know what? As I'm a little older than you and I've raised my kids. They're only this age once. Absolutely, absolutely. Spend some time with them. Absolutely. I and will. keep your wife happy. <laughs> yeah, I will. All right. Thank you. Naveen Srinivasan here, uh, the largest contributor to OpenSSF, maintainer of Scorecard. Check that out as well.